This is Bad Boy coming to you with a new video. You have to excuse my voice, but I had a shock uh, last year. But anyway, this video is about the image of the dream in Daniel chapter 2. This image predicts without a doubt who will be the last king of this earth or world. Now, fake religions and pastors will say the image only includes five kings but i will prove not only are there seven kings not five but also who that last king is so you won't be fooled as an illusion this image also is made up of five different metals that make the, the image too unstable to stand because the illusion of genetics making the image top heavy. If you look at the image you will see that the image is made up of gold, silver, brass, iron, and clay. The gold at the top is 19.3 percent and the clay is 1.9 percent which makes this image top heavy. Okay? Now you can just go to Revelations seventeen five, seventeen ten, and see five are fallen, one Babylon, two Media Persia, three Greece, four Rome, five Muhammadan, six good and the bad fig that began the generation of the fig tree. In the year of our Lord, May 14th, 1948, and still remains today. That's the generation that we're in right now. Seven, Antichrist in the future when he sets up his kingdom. Now, if you look at the, at the image, you will see seven. Head of gold, Babylon. Breast, Media, Persia. Arms, Greece. Belly, Rome. Thighs, Muhammadan. Six legs, good and a bad fig in the parable of the fig tree. That's in Jeremiah 24. Seven. Feet and toes, Antichrist and the ten toed kingdom. That's seven, not five. If you go back to Revelations, it says in Revelation 17 1. The beast that was and is not, even he is the eighth, and is of the seven, and goeth into perdition. Now, what is perdition? Okay, well, let's find out. If you look in the strong concordance that I have, you'll see in Revelation 17 11, that perdition is, is actually a Greek word. And that uh, actually means perdition, but it also means apalia, apalia, from a presumed derivative of ruin, loss, physical, spiritual, or eternal, damnable nation. Destruction, die, perdition, perish. And so on. Okay? So that means to perish or to die. To be destroyed. Now. If you actually go to 9-11. You will see here. That it actually has another meaning. And I'll read that to you. And they had a king over them, which is the angel of the bottomless pit, whose name in the Hebrew tongue is Abaddon. That's a parish in Hebrew. But in the Greek tongue, has his name Apollyon. Okay, now let's look up that word. What is Apollyon here? It's Greek 623. Apollyon. Apollon, active, 
predable of a destroyer that is Satan, a polyon. Okay, it's the same word. It means to perish. So you have a polyon here and a polyon in uh, 17, 11. It's the same thing. It means to perish. Okay? Now, if you go back, and the beast that was and is not, even he is the eighth, and is of the seventh, and goeth into perdition or Apollyon. That's what that means. It means to perish. Okay? Now, if you are 12, it says, And ten horns, which thou sawest, are ten kings. I'll read that again. Ten horns. Okay? Now, if you go back to the image, horns means power in the Bible. Okay? And the image has ten toes. Everyone has ten toes. And the feet and toes of the image are ten horns. It's the same thing. Okay? That's what that is. See, the image is a figure used to explain the different levels of delusion that powered those seven kings that are diminished God's children to total slavery. Okay? That's not the first time it happened. It happened uh, before as well. And you can even read that ad, like in um in Genesis, if we look that up, you will see Genesis six. Uh, Genesis six here, and it came to pass. You see that? Okay. And it came to pass when men began to multiply on the face of the earth and daughters were born unto them. That the sons of God saw the daughters of men that were fair and they took them wives of all which they choose. Now who are, who, who are the sons of God? The sons of God are angels. Okay. These are fallen angels because they're coming back. That's what the image is. It actually are the ten toe kingdom, the feet and toes are the angels that are coming back. See, the ten toe kingdom will, will look real, but it'll be an illusion. Be, you know, because nature and super. Supernatural dimensions do not mix. It's like a, a skinny mirror at a clothing store. You know, women know about that. You go into a store to try on clothes. And you look in that mirror, that's a skinny mirror. And you look actually thinner than the, the clothes actually say. When you take them home and try them on. The clothes don't fit right because it was a illusion. It was it was actually fake. It was a skinny mirror. You see, see the truth is actually inverted on top of you. Okay. Now I have typed transcripts if you can't understand me, but that's what this is about. This is the real image right here. Okay. I'll talk to you later, people. Bye.